I mean, just a lot of experience. This brother is the quality. He's the director of quality control of the defense on this team. He had a very heartfelt message to the team in terms of who's going to make it to the NFL, who may not make it to the NFL. And I'm going to say Coach Dennis Thurman, I think he said what needed to be said because maybe there are players on this team that are uh, thinking about they're going to go to the NFL. Coach Prime has already said that there's a percentage of young men that will make it to the NFL and some men that won't, and he wants don't make it to the NFL to be the great, be great fathers, be great businessmen. And then of course there's those that will make it to the NFL, but there's not all. And to make it to the NFL, you got to have great technique. You have to have great work ethic. You have to love the game of football. You literally have to sleep, eat, and dream football in order to make it. And, and, I th and Coach Thurman said what had to be said. And I know some people probably didn't like what he said. It sort of, in a way, exposed some things because he made a speech to the team prior to them losing the game to Stanford in terms of, uh, people being, uh, you know, not really studying right, practicing right. And this could be one of the reasons why sometimes we see inconsistencies. I'm just saying it could be. That doesn't mean it's all players, but he certainly came out and said something. And this was put out and published in an article. In this video, this got exposed because, like I said, Sanders Jr. on his YouTube channel Expose it for all of us to see on video. So I'm not making up anything here. It says here in the article, in a video published before the game on Friday, before they played against Stanford, the director of quality control, the defense, longtime NFL defensive back, Dennis Thurman, gave Buffs players a rude awakening when discussing their chances of playing in the pros. This is... Okay, now let's put this up here for you. Now, Thurman, Coach Dennis Thurman, who played in the NFL for nine years and coached in the lead for 18 seasons, established that 95% of Colorado players will not even get invited to an NFL training camp after college. He pointed out that most of the team players want to play in the NFL, but don't put in the work. Now, why is that? Now, why would he say that? This is not me making this up. This is coaching staff. This is brother Dennis that's saying this. Coach Dennis Thorman. There's a reason why he is saying this. Because there's something going on internally. And you say to yourself, what's his credentials? What is this man talking about? Well, he has a lot of credentials. Because here is a picture of him right here. Here's a picture of him right there. When he played a defensive back position in the NFL, he played for the Dallas Cowboys back in the day. Here's another uh, photo of him right here, knocking down a ball, getting an interception. That's that's the brother right there. Let me also, if you don't, if you think that this is just some talk that he doesn't know what he's talking about, because I'm going to play you the video, or I'm going to play the audio to the video so that you can clearly hear what he's saying. But I want to show you some of his credentials here just to bring it crystal. And you can Google his name and find out more about him. But Dennis Thurman, he coached at the University University of Southern California, 1993 to 2000. He was the defensive back coach. Okay. Then he went to the NFL where he coached the Phoenix Cardinals. Okay. 1988 to 1989, he was a defensive back there with the Cardinals in Phoenix. Then he was with the Baltimore Ravens, 2002 to 2007, defensive back coach. Then he was in New York with the New York Jets in 2008 to 2014 as the defensive back and defensive coordinator of the New York Jets, okay? Then he spent um, some short time with the Buffalo Bills in 2015 as the defensive coordinator. Okay. Okay. I'm just giving down the credentials because he knows what he's talking about. 
NFL player playing career, the Dallas Cowboys, the Cardinals, 1978 to 1986, he was a defensive back himself. So, like I'm saying, the man knows what he's talking about. The man has credentials, and we cannot sleep on that. Here are some photos of him when he was coaching as a defensive back coach with the Buffalo Bills, okay? Here he is with the Jets as well. Here's a photo of him with the Jets. Uh, and here he is back in his playing days again. And I just want to drive this home because he said so many things that I think you have to scratch your head and say, hmm, this may explain why we see sometimes it appears that the team or the players are not paying attention to details. I'm not certainly saying all of players, that it's all of the players, but certainly there's something going on and he would know what's going on better than anyone. In this audio that I'm gonna play for you, he's exposing some things that was kind of mind opening. And what I wanna do is begin with playing that first audio right now. And remember, this was Sanders Jr. who also dropped this on his channel, the video version of this, but listen to this audio right now. And he asked you a very serious question. He asked you, how many of you guys want to play pro football? No, don't I, I saw it yesterday. And three quarters of you, 80% of you raised your hand. I played in the NFL for nine years and I coached up there for 18. So I've spent 27 years of my life in the NFL. 95% of you are not even going to get invited to an NFL camp. Did you guys hear me? 95% of you are not going to get an invitation to an NFL camp. 98 and a half are not going to make it. So what is that? 1.5? that are going to make it. Think about what I just said. So what are you going to do? Coach asked you that earlier this week. He said, what are you going to do? And the most shocking thing to me sitting back there was most of you did not have an answer. He said, what are you going to do? And the room was as silent as it is right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I stopped for a pause of effect. Did you hear what he just said? Did you hear what Coach Dennis Thurman just said to the players? This is very shocking because it reveals that there, there may be some players that may not be doing what it takes. You got to love this game. Coach Prime says he wants winners. He wants guys that are dedicated. He wants guys that love the game. And the reality is you're going to have some guys who like the game, love the game, some guys who are great film study, some guys who don't put in the kind of work that's necessary. And he also mentions about how there's some guys on this team are wondering why they're not getting enough playing time because they're not putting in enough work. And this does translate to the football field when you have a situation, unfortunately, I didn't like to see what happened when they give up a lead like they did against uh, Stanford. Let's continue on. This is um, very revealing. You have no plan. You have no plan. You have to have a plan. A man has to have a plan if he's gonna be successful in life. Tell the truth. So let's stay with the football side of it. The way some of you guys practice, the way some of you don't study and apply yourselves. You hear how he's saying that some of the players are not practicing properly. They're not studying properly. That would explain why Coach Prime, we've heard Coach Prime say that the standard is and it's not a change and that that's why some guys 
that we have not seen in the game as we were expecting to see in the game because their practice habits weren't great, their studying habits weren't great, and we all were wondering about uh, Kamani McLean, right? We were worried about why he wasn't getting the playing time that we feel that he, he should be getting. We were concerned about uh, Amarion Miller, uh, why they're not getting this kind of playing time because there's internal things that we don't know that's going on that the players are not uh, stepping up in some cases as the coach, uh, Coach Thurman, is uh, exposing right here. Let's continue with this audio. You have no chance to play on Sunday. That's why you're not playing here. I don't have a specific position that I'm watching or coaching right now. So I get to walk around and watch all you guys. Some of you have the most horrific practice habits I've ever seen. I hear you guys bitching about your coach. I hear you guys complain. Whoa. He's basically breaking down and saying that there are some complaints coming from players. He said, I hear you talking about your coach or complaining about coaches or a coach. Now, is that coach prime or is that position coaches? I don't exactly know. But once again, this man is the quality, the director of the quality control of the defense. He has NFL experience. This man has played in the NFL himself, knows what it takes. You see him there, number 32. This man has coached on the Buffalo Bills, the Jets. I'm going to say it again. Buffalo Bills, Jets, the Ravens. He knows what he is talking about, ladies and gentlemen. He knows what he's talking about. Let's continue. And about him getting after you. I hear all of that. I don't say anything, but I hear it. Because... You don't want to accept the truth. Most of you who are not playing or, or in your mind or not, you don't feel like you're getting a chance. It is because you haven't earned a chance. Go play football. Football practice used to be my favorite part of the day. Why? I got to do something I love to do. I didn't have to do what the establishment or everybody else, go to school, study, go to study hall, do all that stuff. I didn't have to do that. I got to do the two hours of the day that I got to do something that I love to do. You guys say you love to do it, but then you complain about the work that you have to put in. <laughs> you don't love it. You do not love it. Because if you love something, what do you do? You take care of it. And say that to you guys again. If you love something or someone, you take care of it. Come on, DJ. So you guys love football? And you guys go out and practice the way you practice? You go out and don't compete for the ball when it's in the air? You, you do all the things that are contrary to what you say you need to do when you love something. Nobody can answer that for you. You guys have to answer that question for yourselves. If you want to be and have a chance to play pro football, most of y'all are going to have to change. You got to change and change drastically and quickly. Or start thinking about that alternative to the question the man asked you last week. What are you going to do if you don't play pro football? Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to seriously give me your comments in the comment section of this video. Was he right? Was he wrong? He has the pedigree. He has the experience as a coach and player in the NFL and knows what it takes. Uh, is this re a reflection? What he is seeing with this CU team, is it a reflection of why they are or why they are in consistency? Or should I say, let me correct what I just said. Is what he is saying to these players the reason, should I say, that we're seeing inconsistencies on the football field, whether it be the offensive line, whether it be the defense at times, 
uh, whether it be uh, the upfront defense. And in this game against Stanford that they lost, a lot, there was a lot of problems with the defense. There were issues in the game where they were having a hard time getting personnel off the field and all sorts of things that were happening. Is this lack of paying attention to details? Is this what the coach is saying that when they're not practicing right and preparing right, they're not going to play well in the game. He was foreshadowing this maybe. And therefore, if they're not playing well in a game, you're not getting to the NFL. As he said, you're not even going to get an invite. I thought it was very revealing what coach Dennis Thorman had to say to the football team. Let me also play you a audio from the undisputed. You had Keyshawn Johnson, uh, Skip Bayless, and Michael Irvin. And they kind of alluded to the same thing about you need to have guys who love the game to get the best out of players. They've got to first love the game. And the question is, does everybody love the game? But let's hear what they had to say on this audio. Check this out. You got 86 yeah. new players on your team. Yeah. Everybody's not going to love it. No. Okay. The, 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 you can certainly yeah. tell the ones that love the game yeah. and the ones that like it. Deion's been around the block long enough and to know this. And again, I will remind Prime, this is year one, as you know. It is. And so those that don't love it won't right. be there weed them out. come right. time, you know, next year and year after. Facts. And you're going to weed them out. Yep. So and because of who he is and the competitor he is, he, he, he's wearing it a certain way. But you're not going to get everybody. It's just not. You're not going to get everybody to love it. It's just not going to happen that way. Mm. You know, and he'll find those guys, like Michael said, yeah. that, that just like it, and those guys will be on to the next. Because mm. mm. in order to win the championship, yeah. you got to have everybody loving it. You got to win the championship. It. Everybody. And, and everybody, everybody got to understand. And you got to love each other. You really do. I'm telling you, this is a different game. You can't have success individual success so so yeah, I, i'll say that you will never have a championship team a championship team that didn't get along at all because it's too hard it's too hard it'll never happen it may happen in basketball it may happen in baseball it'll never happen in the national football Agreed. league so when you talk about loving the sport you only want people to love it Dion and i used to talk about i don't want to play with anybody that just like the lifestyle of the NFL. I want you to love playing in the NFL. You gotta love wanting to be the very best. That's why I get confused when we have, why do you have to say this? Thing? I want you all to hear something before I conclude this video. Here we go. Over the next several months, something's wrong with you because we understand what's coming. If you can't see what's coming with CU football, you've lost your mind. You're just a flat-out hater. If you can't see what's going on and what's going to transpire over the next several months, something's wrong with you. Because That's Coach Prime breaking it down. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with me on this video. It's a very tough, very difficult issue. I wanted to be respectful with the way that I presented this, but... It's not me making any of this up. You heard the coach, Dennis Thorman, who is the quality control coach of the defense. He has lots of experience. And you had Sanders Jr. of well-off media drop the actual visual to this audio, which is the video. And he put it out there for everybody to see in the world. So I bring receipts. And I thank you for watching. Make sure you share this video on all your social media. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. Thank you for subscribing if you have. Share this in your community tab, your content creator. Thank you for getting us to 25,000 subs. And looks like we'll be at 26,000 subs very, very soon. And we're just going to keep putting this con content, good content out, right? But uh, I think this is a wake-up call and should be a wake up call to the football team, to the program. And the weird thing about it is that coach Dennis Thorman made these statements that Friday, that he made those statements prior to the game. Everybody 
Take care, peace and love and thank you. your mind. You just a flat out hater. If you can't see